following is a presentation of Sports Groove TV and Heritage Sports Radio Network, the voice of HBCU Sports. A great rivalry is coming to Washington, D.C. September 10th as Howard and Morehouse rekindled acquaintances in the inaugural Nations Football Classic at RFK Stadium. This will be the 34th time these two HBCU rivals meet in a game where the outcome is almost secondary. Atlanta is going to win the fashion show, baby. <laughs> The nation's football classic gives black college football a stage in the nation's capital and hopes to become a tourist destination like other major HBCU sports events around the country. However, it's only fitting that these two institutions, whose notable alumni have had profound impact on this country, will use this as a platform for an even greater mission. And this year we're talking about a theme that, that deals with the black male, challenges facing the black male in American society. And we're going to turn it into a week-long think tank to focus on issues facing the African-American family in the United States. With the United Negro College Fund moving its headquarters to D.C., this classic will kick off the HBCU Empower Me Tour, which is designed to communicate the importance of college career readiness and service to the community, which are significant components to the HBCU experience. Because we believe that all of these things bind together, and I'm sure we will bring the strength of a lot of more, a lot more HBCUs to this city that if they don't have a direct rivalry with Howard University, they, there's a rivalry with Morehouse College, and we all have one thing in common, that we historically black universities. Traditionally, when the teams have played, there's been nothing more than bragging rights on the line, with Howard holding a 20-11-2 edge all time and Morehouse coming off of its greatest season ever. The mayors of these two cities have made a wager with a local culinary tradition hanging in the balance. What I'm putting on the table is one of the most treasured assets that we have in the District of Columbia, and that is a trip to Ben's Chili Bowl. <laughs> I see your half smoke and chili dog, and I'm gonna put it up against the boss, which I believe has the best chili dogs in the United States of America. And that should make for a tasty weekend in the nation's capital this September. Black This has been a presentation of Sports Groove TV and Heritage Sports Radio Network, the voice of HBCU Sports.